Hi folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video tutorial I'd like to show you how to work with band features with Creo Parametric 3.0. I'd like to start from scratch and show you all steps what you need to do. So I will create new sheet metal files with some names. While you specify the name, we have the possibility to start directly with the extrude feature or planar feature of what you need. So it's depend about the final shapes. So I will start with planar feature for today. We need to specify sketch plane. For example, right now I don't care about the visibility of datum plane. So I'd like to a little bit repair and change my configuration because you can directly right now show or hide the datums. The shape will be really easy, it will be some rectangle shape and you can modify directly by using right mouse button and use the function modify. So the new dimension will be 400 to 150. You can see that system automatically recreate the size of my sketch. While you finish by confirmation OK button the system will show you how the system will create the flat feature. You can add material up or down, you can change the arrow directly from the 3D view or from the ribbon. You can specify the thickness and really easy confirm. I said that I'd like to show you everything about the band feature. So if you see here, you have a lot of possibility how to work with bands. And the first function, what is here, is the band. You can see that it is possible to create a band or then the another specification. You can see that the best and quickest example is if I select the edge, system will automatically select the fixed size. So this is the fixed size and this is the size where you would like to create a band. So you can use the arrow and switch between this information. You can fix this one or opposite one. Yeah? So it depends what you need to do. So select the offset preferences. You can again change dimension by the numbers. And I like to focus on that edge. Over here you can see three different band material position. I will change the thickness of the radius and for example 25 over here will be much better to see. We can set the normal orientation and describe the necessary things. You can see here that my offset dimension is 80 and I have use the band material on all the side of band line. You can change it really easy and change material up to band line. What does it mean? Over here you have created the band line and the system create the line and then create the bands. Or you can choose the opposite. That will be over here you can see the preview band material on both sides of band line. So it depends when you would like to specify the bands. I like to explain maybe a different one. You can see here that this is the band line where is the created or offset dimension to 80. And right now on the left and right side it's the same length of this band. If I select uh, the first option, the system fix the right side of the plate and then create the band. So this is the develop length of my created band features. So you can choose what you want and change dimensions. So it's really easy. You have a dynamic preview and you can see. On the opposite directions, I like to show you that it's possible to create another type of band. So you don't need to select the edge because sometimes you don't want to go straight on on this edge, but you can select the surface. And if you select the surface, 
you can specify where the band line will be created so you can select for example like this so I, will, I have selected the edges and right now I need to specify the dimension so this is the first offset references and first dimension will be 80 and the another offset references for example from that side will be 20 right now you can see that system automatically selects for me the fixed size but I don't want to use this one will be go down that will be fixed and this one will be go down or up so with the dynamic preview you can choose what you want and then you can specify the angle or set different inside inside or outside radius so you can see here that right now I specify the 5 as inside bent radius okay so right now we have seen how it is possible to use the bend feature really quickly and you can specify the bends with the selected edges or you can select the surface and system automatically create the band line directly on the selected surface. Okay. The another example will be how to use and create the roll. Select band and select edge. What is necessary to do is specify to create a row and then specify the radius for example 25 and how you would like to roll it this combination will show you that system can automatically row the surface and you can specify where you would like to create it if you change the radius for example to 30 the system will create nice shape for you okay in the band drop down menu you can see that is the possible to use the edge band and how to use it many times you create a shape with straight lines so for example if I create new extrude feature and I will specify the shape with straight line it will be for example like this and again I'd like to really quickly modify the dimension to 100 and 100 and confirm OK the system automatically create for me the band here but I don't want to create the band directly through the whole edge yeah right here I like to specify a different kind of modification so I will select the option and switch off the create the bands on the sharp edges because my sketch is with the two straight lines it's a sharp edge and system can create automatically or not it depends what you need if I confirm OK right now we have a sheet metal 3D model but it's really hard to create the unbent feature because you miss the bands but if you create edge band it's a similar to create a round or standard solid model the system will create for you the bands yeah you can see here you can move it directly like what what you want you can specify inside or outside radius and what I like to do is you can specify the offset here yeah so for example like this and specify again the minus is negative value yeah and if you confirm OK you have specified as shape what you need but right now we have to create a rip feature directly on the edge so again select the edge the system will create automatically rip for you pre-definition of default is the create open edge treatment but you can change it directly from the drop down menu here but I'd like to show you that is the 2d sketch here so if you create an overlap the system will automatically create overlapping here with dynamic preview or you can see directly in the 2d sketch here 
Yeah, so you can flip or you can use a gap and specify the gap, for example, two millimeters. Okay, this is my final result, what I would like to show you. And if I finish OK, again, we can create a flat dynamic preview and see what will be final result. And you can show the bounding box dimensions. Yeah. You have seen how to work and use the band feature with Creo Parametric 3.0. Thank you very much. Bye bye.